Okay, so this uh, episode will just be about how to get up and running the damn vulnerable web app um, without much hassle and effort by using Docker uh, and just running the Docker image that is provided for it. Uh, for those who don't know what is the PVWA, right? So it's uh, basically a PHP MySQL based web application that is intentionally left vulnerable. It's the main goal is just simply for you to be able to practice on your skills, on your penetration testing skills, or also just simply to understand better what are the what are the dangers in having a vulnerable web application running and how easy it is to actually exploit some of them. For today, I'm just gonna actually show you through the process of how to get it up and running and then I run you through the application interface a little bit. And then in my follow up uh, sessions, I will show you for each of the sections on how to actually run exploits against it or how to actually do the testing using either Burp Suite or or maybe over the sub framework. So we'll see about that in later episodes. For now, the first thing you will do is you see here, obviously you can download it here uh, and then do go through an installation process, but we don't need it. Uh, so what we will do is we'll just simply first install Docker. So this is a, a vanilla Kali Linux install. So nothing installed yet. That's why first step we gonna do is sudo up update just to update the latest uh, sources and make sure the latest package list and everything is here this should not take too long uh, internet speed sometimes to some of those repositories is not the greatest as you can see uh, so we'll just wait for this to complete. Okay, so this is now completed. Uh, we're not gonna upgrade them right now, but what we will now do is we'll just do a so do uh, install docker.io. Okay. That will install Docker. That's basically it. You can now see there's now the Docker command can run now. So from here, the next thing is very simple, which is to actually pull the Docker image and run it. So we do this for for the application that you want to install. So we're going to say docker run, then we're going to give it a couple of flags that we will use. We're going to tell it which bots it will run once it's downloaded. And that's the package that we have on Sorry. Vulnerables and then Web, then web application, and that's pretty much it. Let me control it again. That's it. Oh, of course, I'm so sorry. You need to run this with sudo, of course. My bad. <clears throat> Obviously, the first message is cannot find it locally because we did not install it locally. There's no local image. So, what it will do next is we'll go to the repository online and it will just simply download everything now and then run it up and start it up. As you can see, my internet speed actually isn't bad. It's just the repositories that sometimes are really slow. Okay, pull complete. Latest downloaded and there we will go. So we can keep this open here. And basically what it has done is it creates an empty uh, shell. It, it will now use the default of localhost. So by going, uh, sorry, 
of course it should be 127.0.0.1 and we'll let it go to port 80 and you will already see the login in the back here you will also see the logs of the access log of Apache so first login we're gonna use admin and password it's the default it will tell you okay it's a new install obviously it has been not yet enabled right so we say create and reset the database it's created it will automatically log you out and then after that we're gonna again log in and now we see the full web application and all that comes with it so basically here you can see the overview all the different types of uh, vulnerabilities that are included here that you can actually test against there's some instructions here read them carefully that will be very helpful for you when you go through the whole process um, the security here is also one thing that it's important you can set it to either medium high impossible or low obviously while you go along while you start practicing set it to low first try low and then you'll walk your way up all the way to impossible uh, it's this this is more or less unpenetrable <laughs> based on my experience and it's really like it is it's more or less for for comparing it against what you have coded maybe in your own environment the the high is the really interesting ones uh, this one is like so if you're preparing for the oscp certification this will be pretty much if you if you can handle all of those very easily then it's an indication that you might getting ready to to do the oscp um so let's go through this brute force is a simple is a simple brute force attack here well, let's in this case we know just to show you how it looks so you would have succeeded here of course the intention of this is to actually start techniques and use techniques to bypass this and to brute force the username and password command injections for example so file inclusions uh, is for example not allowed file upload so uh, let me let me give you a quick idea on how easy this is actually to use so let me uh hold on a second uh let me just do this um very simple code this is we, we know i so i know it's vulnerable but let me just uh show you how this is being done right um we will just simply create a very simple uh, php file but this we're just gonna say here create the document empty file we call this php info dot php create so we can see this is here on the then we're gonna paste some code into this so basically php info just gives you info on the php versions and everything running on a certain server by default obviously you should not make this available publicly and you should not allow a file a, a php file to be executed when you upload it to show you all this information uh, so we say save here um let me go back to this one so you could not say browse so we're going to the desktop we upload this file we say upload okay now we already see it's been uploaded we know where it will be located usually you would have to do some obviously some some searching on, on what, where these direct directories are and all that right in our case we know it already so if we run this now what it will do is will actually execute the php file that we just uploaded it which obviously is a very serious vulnerability because you could do any malicious execution using php using this enter there we go so fairly fairly simple to exploit actually kind scary so we go back to this one uh csp bypass uh, cross-site scripting there's multiple ones weak session ids this is also very interested uh 
interesting. And and then more or less, if you notice, in all of these sections, you do have something like few source. So it will give you the source of the site. Obviously, this is very interesting if you want to exploit it or if you want to find a vulnerability in it. And then few help, which is super helpful, especially when you are learning. So it will give you some some hints and and some 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 write up about the different levels. But in some sections, for example, let's say in the CSF section here, few help uh, will actually give you hints for the spoiler. It will give you some hints on on if you're stuck, you can use those spoilers, those hints to actually get it done. Yeah, and with this, I think this is pretty much what I wanted to show today. I I, I find the them them vulnerable web application is a, a really cool and easy to easy to set up as you have just seen. Easy setup tool to practice your penetration testing skills to prepare for certifications like CEH or especially OSCP, which has a lot of hands on and practical stuff in it. So with this, I hope you're going to follow my next sessions, which will go into some of these modules in particular and show you how they can be uh, attacked using either uh, RepSuit or one that I personally like pretty much, um, which is ZEP. So I just show you this real quick. I start it up real quick. And let's see, no, we don't want persistence here. We start it up, and basically, there is your interface. Now, obviously, it needs to update all of those, but more or less, and those are all updated in a second or two. There you go. We close this and then there we are. This is a very fairly simple automated uh, attack tool where you just enter the URL here and you attack. That's as simple as it goes. And over the next couple of sessions, I'm going to show you how to use ZEP and maybe some other tools on how on 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 trying to exploit or trying to to find the vulnerabilities in in the DVWA. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.